Okay, so you got yourself you got yourself a new MacBook or something like that. Or or maybe even an iPad, right? One of the new iPad Pros or the iPad Air 4s, one of those, and you're like, hey, I only have on the MacBook two USB-C ports. Well, Aki has this Link PD Pro USB-C hub. And, and this is it here. It comes in at 50 bucks, 49.99. It's got four and a half stars, two and a half thousand reviews. That's that's pretty awesome. Uh, USB-C hub, Aki eight and one USB type C hub with ethernet, ethernet, good. 4K HDMI, very cool. Two USB 3.0s, one USB 2.0, just in case you only need that, right? 100 watt PD charging. Now this is awesome because it's 100 watts. So if you have, let's say a 16 inch MacBook Pro, for instance, that requires like 96 watts, I think it is, this is gonna be able to supply enough power for it. So that's awesome. Plus uh, an SDTF card reader for MacBook, Chromebook, Pixels, etc., etc. That's That's super nice. And as, as weird as it sounds, it's kind of stylish. So 4K output, 30 hertz. You're not gonna get 60, but I don't know of any of them right now that do 60. 30 hertz, very cool. Fast gigabit ethernet, up to 1,000 megabits per second. Rapid data transfer. Yeah, and this is the big one, right? Input of 100 watts, output of 87 watts. So really cool, whereas traditionally, you're only seeing, as it says here, 60 in and about 48 out. So. It'll charge, even the other ones will charge stuff, it's just slower. This one's gonna charge almost at full, full quality, just no different than if you had the Apple power brick connected. So that's awesome. All right, we're gonna take a look at that uh, right now. Okay guys, so here it is, Aki. Brown, brown, just plain, Plain box has their little graphic on it. Link PD Pro USB C hub. That's that's kind of it, and I'm okay with that, right? And we crack it open. Inside we get a little tiny manual. Very nice. Uh, fonts are decent size, but it does show you what the different ports are, just in case you're unaware. Because a lot of people, especially USB two to USB three, they they don't know. Now, just so you guys know, usually USB three inside, if you look, it'll be blue versus USB two, which will be white. That's probably one of the biggest giveaways. Uh, USB C connector uh, goes through USB three point one Gen one and USB three data ports, right? So that's also really cool. And just realize, and this is important to realize, the USB-C is a power delivery port. So it doesn't say that it's gonna do data. So I'm a little curious about that because I wanna plug in a hard drive just to see if it will do data. I don't know. Uh, and, and that's about it. But fonts are big enough and they're legible. Sometimes we don't see that. All right, what else do we get in here? We get, oh, what's that? All right, so you get, this is this, is this but oh, isn't that lovely? Throw that over there. We don't need to see any of that stuff. It comes with a little tiny case. I got cat hair all over me. That's right, that's what happens when you live with cats. I like that it comes with a little case. Isn't that sharp? And that's it. Now, let's see, well, we gotta see what it's like in the case. That goes in there. Is there enough room for the cable to tuck in? Let's see, maybe. Sort of, I'd, maybe the cable. Ah, see, I would say the cable you tuck in on the outside maybe, right? You just tuck it in like that. Well, that's nice. You know, you put that in the bag, because it is metal. So let's say you're throwing it in your bag with your MacBook or your iPad, and maybe they don't have cases on them. So now, this is not gonna scratch your laptop. That's thinking. I like that, that's nice. Okay, here it is. So bottom, silver, got little feet on it, which is nice. There's your, there's your ethernet port. And you see the blue? That means those are your USB 3 ports. There's your micro SD and a full size SD. And then on the side, this is your USB 2. This is your HDMI 4K 30 or underneath 1080. And there's your uh, USB C. It says it's a power port. So I don't know if it's a data port. I'm, I'm a little curious to see, but we'll, we'll see. So we're gonna bring my laptop down here. Right, because there it is, there's our laptop. And as you can see, USB-C ports on the side. Okay, that's a nice, it's a nice looking little dongle. Unlike some of the other ones that are just kind of plain, this one's got some, some style to it. We like that. Plug it in, a little power light. Very good, just to know that it's getting power. 
I'm with you so far. So what we're gonna do, and I don't know, I don't know if this is gonna work, you know, is that if we plug power in here, of course, that would allow us to power our laptop. But let's say we didn't, and we plug this in here. Do we, does the hard drive show up? I'm curious. And my guess is the answer is no, because it's just a power in. So you guys know this. Power in, uh, no, no lights on the front. No, nope, no lights on the front. So it is strictly a power port. Don't think you're gonna be plugging USB-C stuff into it, but, but, yeah, that's right, there's a but. I have a USB hard drive here, so we'll make sure you guys can all see this. So here's a little USB hard drive. I'm gonna plug this into the USB 3 ports, because as you can see, USB 3, because of the blue, right? So if little little trick, if you didn't know, blue, USB 3. Especially if you're looking for cables. I got so many cables around here, and you pick them up and you're like, I don't even know. If this side is blue, USB 3 cable, which means it'll send data faster. So line those up, that's going in there, pop. And little light, that's good. Computer, come on. You can hear it spinning. There it is, there's my, it's my time machine drive. So that's working like a charm. Can't, can't complain too much about that, that's excellent. And we're gonna eject that now because I don't need it. So that's really good for that. Now, the other thing is I actually usually have, I have a bunch of different USB hubs, USB-C hubs. Um, and some of them are specific for the MacBook, uh, and some of them are specific to, let's say, my iPad. But some of us are like, no, I want one that fits on both. So if you want one that fits on both, like a lot of us do, because we don't want to buy the same thing twice, um, then something like this is really good because it's not gonna be nice and flush and all this kind of sits outside, which is fine, because you get that compatibility with multiple products, is that here's an iPad, for instance, and if we take my iPad here, just kind of, lay it flat like this so you guys can see it. Now if we take this, it's upside down, we'll, we'll get it, we'll get it, here we go, and take this and plug it in the bottom, ready, plug, this has got, this has got power as well, my hard drive has got power, and if we go to the files application, and we go back here, files, wait for it, there it is, my passport, right, boom. So the nice thing is, is because this is USB-C and, you know, it, it, again, it has that 100 watt, it'll charge this no problem if this is powered into, well, plugged into power for sure. Uh, it'll charge your, your iPad or up to, a, again, a 16 inch MacBook Pro, which is really good. Just realize that USB-C port is not a data port, it's a power port. Every other one is gonna be data for sure, which is great. Um, but works on your iPad, works on your MacBook, works on anything really with USB-C. Really these are, I'd say, really they're designed primarily for those of us that have Apple products like MacBooks and iPads because you know, MacBook has two ports, that's it. iPad, one port, that's it. So if you want any kind of expansion, like being able to plug in hard drives to your iPad, or being able to plug in a bunch of stuff to your MacBook, or a bunch of stuff to your iPad, whatever, you kinda need one of these. And you could go out and buy two, one for each, or you could be like, you know what, I'm only using one of them at a time, so I'll, I'll just get something like this, because I can just, just swap them between the two and save yourself some cash, right? 50 bucks, that's not bad. All right, my friends, I'm gonna leave you there. Uh, I'm gonna put links down below if you guys are interested because I think for those of us that have these devices, this just opens, opens the world up to all kinds of attachments and accessories that you and I can get for this, so which is, which is super cool. And that's it. Again, links down below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Get the video out there, leave comments, do all that stuff. Hit the little bell because it's awesome when you do it. Yeah, I love it, and you love it. I think you love it, and that's it. All right, my friends, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow morning. Later.